Okay, okay, okay. I think we're recording. I think we're recording. And I'm gonna go get a cushion. No, I'm not gonna go get a cushion. I'm gonna just prop my floor here. So, happy Tuesday morning. Happy Tuesday morning. I legitimately have like no makeup but some eyeliner that I left on last night is still on. Hey, good morning, Addison. Morning, Steve. Morning, Bob. And I finally got out here to do this because I have been, multiple things have been going on. This, today, Addison and I are celebrating friendship anniversary. So, yes, that's a thing. She is probably laughing right now because I'm making this announcement. We're off to um, the spa to go and sweat out all the toxins and everything so we're going to to spa castle in a couple hours and just gonna chill and have some girl time and sweat out all of the nasties in our system and have a good lunch um so that's not a bad way to you know that's not a good that's a really great great brunch lunchtime thing to go do you know chill relaxed um make tuesday all the better but i was thinking you know i was laying in bed and Somebody, thank you, brought me coffee in bed this morning. And had some like some good connection and all this kind of stuff. And I thought, should I really share this on Conscious Coffee? Should I really go to this level of sharing? But as I was laying there just a little bit ago, still in bed. I mean, I literally just got out of bed, jumped in the shower, and decided, you know, like I need to, I need to get clean before I go sweat all the toxins out. So I did that before jumping on here, but I was thinking about this in the shower. It's just like, you know, should I actually share this? Well, yes, I am because there, there you go. That's just the way I roll. Right. But so had some good sex this morning, but got right there to the cusp of having orgasm of having orgasm. And then didn't get it, didn't get it, which leaves me kind of hanging with female blue balls, you could say, because there's just this like frustration in my body. So I was like, that's okay. You know, it's like, it's not that I have to have an orgasm every single day, but yeah, of course I do. Um, you know, I don't know. There's just something, there's something about having an orgasm every single day. If you're a woman or if you're a man, I don't know. They're just there. They're just is. It just is life giving. It's invigorating. It's good for the mood. It's good for your body. It's good for your creative juices. And when you just kind of touch it and then it just poof, is gone, it leaves you with this like, number one, your physical body just feels it. Eh. It's like this nagging, throbbing, burning, pulsing ugh, sensation, you know, just like an achiness. And, and then it just kind of jacks with your hormones because you get this like little bit of a release of all the chemical, but it's not very much. It's like you just get like a little itty bitty injection of it into your system and then that's it. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just, it's, just, it's, it's not pleasant. So I'm not saying this to, to say that it was, you know, it's, it, it just is. This stuff happens, especially for us women. Guys, you're just lucky, you know, you, for the most part, 99% of the time, men always succeed and us women about 90% of the time don't succeed and that's just that's just the reality of it so I'm not 90% of the time not succeed unless I'm as I'm in my in my life the last uh, few months so it's not all right we're back it got me to think I was like oh my gosh is my internet really gonna do this okay but it got me to think about different things and here's what happened. I'm going to just like, I, this is like a TLC conscious coffee. I should have named it TLC. I'm not TLC. <laughs> TMI conscious coffee. You see, this is what happens when you don't have, when you get it, when you almost get it, your brain doesn't work. So it's a TMI conscious coffee about TLC. So here I am. I get really, really close to orgasm, right? Don't succeed. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go on about our days. It's perfectly fine. And then I laid there for a little bit and I was like, you know, no, I'm going to like, I have a really great shower head. So I decided that I was going to take the shower and that I was just going to take care of myself. 
except I got into the shower and my brain started to just spin and I started to think about this and I started to think about that and I'm trying to masturbate but my brain is spinning out of control thinking about all this other stuff okay so my brain is thinking about all this other stuff which I came up with some great ideas I was like really all right so that's what I you know, I, I tried to play fantasy in my head. I tried to do all this different stuff. Nothing was working. It was like I was completely just numbed out, which I felt a severe amount of like almost just separation from myself in that moment and frustration. And then anger came up for a little bit because I'm like, oh, you know, and the more I wanted it, the further it went away from me. It just was away, away, away. It just kept going away. It was like it was just running from me, this orgasmic feeling to the point that I really couldn't even capture just even an essence of it in that moment. But I was all up here in my head thinking about things. I did come up with a great idea, um, which I'm going to announce in just a little bit because that's the way I roll, you know, have sex orgasmic energy, no orgasmic energy, masturbation doesn't just matter, have a great idea, announce it, because I'm going to just launch it like this. Um, but no, so no success there. Get out of the shower. And I'm like, okay, I am not a vibrator person. I am not a vibrator person. I've spent the last hour trying to have an orgasm, okay? So here you go. I've spent the last hour trying to have an orgasm unsuccessfully. And I share that with you because I know that a lot of people are like, oh, Kendall, she's, you know, she has this life where she's just got all this sex and all this orgasm and all this different stuff going on. And, you know, she must have, you know, just be easy to, to orgasm left and right and doesn't have those challenges and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sharing this because I think that a lot of women look at other women and scenarios or a lot of guys look at other women from their woman and think oh well you know what's wrong here because she's really good at doing this she's talking about it. she's teaching about it. she shares these hot stories this that and I want you to know that even for us coaches teachers people who have done all of all this sexual healing trauma work you know, done the release work, the, the actual physical release work, the emotional, the mental release work, all this kind of stuff, that we still have these challenges every now and then where we can go what would have been, like, my sex started at, I think it was 6 or 6.30 this morning. I don't know. I didn't look at the clock. You know, we went for two rounds there, and it was just like a little dance, and then into masturbation for like an hour uh, hour plus of masturbation of which I batted as zero, you know, like, I was like, came out of it just going, I'm done. I'm just done. I was just like, I'm done. This is forget it. Forget it. I'm just done with this for the day. I'm trying too hard for something. I'm now chasing it and I'm chasing it so hardcore that it is officially run out of the building. There is no chance of it happening. Not right now, but yeah, it was like, it was this struggle and I couldn't figure out why. And it was because I was so focused on trying on, on it happening, but I was, I'm focused on it happening in a negative context. And here's where the money piece comes in. Cause the title of conscious coffee today is your sex, your money, the most important person in the room, right? So here's the struggle with sex, right? I know that a lot of women and May is Women's Month for me, okay? I'm focused in on us ladies this month. It's Mother's Day. I've got female programs running. I'm doing a lot of talk about female sexuality this month and female, you know, emotional states and mompreneurship and all this different stuff. It is Ladies Month. But guys, you need to listen to this too because if you have a woman in your life, you need to kind of realize some of the things that she's going through as well. So it can be, we do not always succeed at having an orgasm. It doesn't mean that the sex was bad. It doesn't mean that the connection was bad. It doesn't mean any, that anything was done wrong. All it means is that there was a disconnect somewhere in my system. Maybe it wasn't enough time. Maybe I just wasn't like ready enough. Maybe there's some hormonal thing going on inside my body that's causing me to be off just a little bit. My sensitivity is, is different today than what it was yesterday when I happen to have great orgasm, right? 
who knows? But here's the thing. I took that and I what? I got stuck in my head. That performance anxiety you could relate it to. Why is this not happening? What's wrong with me? All that. Now, I didn't think what's wrong with me. I didn't think why is this happening because of my education, because of everything that I've been through. I understand. But that didn't stop me from chasing it. Well, we do this with our money too. Okay, we do this with our money. What do we do? We go chasing after the dollar. We hunt it down. We tackle it. We chase, 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 chase. And it just seems to just get further away, right? Just further, further away. And the more we try to chase it, the more it runs away from us. Because what are we focused on? We're focused on the fact that we don't have the money. Where's the money in our bank account? It's not in our bank account. Where is it? It's not showing up. You know, where's that pay raise? Where's that bonus? Where's that job opportunity? Where are those clients? Where's this? Where's that? Where, 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 where? Where's the orgasm? Where's that? Where's that feeling? Where's that? Where's that spot? (coughs) And we look for that spot. And we're looking for the spot that has whatever it is that we want in it. But what we're not realizing is that we're focusing in on all the space between us and that spot. No matter if it's our sex or our money, it doesn't much matter. We're more focused on the not having than the having. And that is the point that I want to get through to you today. If you're struggling with your orgasm, if you're struggling with an orgasmic life, if you're struggling with your finances, if you're struggling with your health, if you're struggling with connection in your relationship, if you're struggling with anything, yes, the struggle is real. The struggle is real because you're making it real because you're focusing in on the struggle. The reason why I was unsuccessful on not achieving what I was going for this morning was because at one point or another, I started to teeter into the it's not going to happen to the point at the end of it where I was just like, F this, I'm done. It's not going to happen. Well, I sealed the deal in that moment, right? Instead of relaxing in, I felt my body constricting. While I'm trying to force this to happen, my body is constricting because I'm trying to force it to happen. I'm like, I'm going to push this boulder up this hill. Instead of just relaxing, instead of softening into it and allowing myself just to feel, I went into I'm going to force it to happen mode. That's what we do in our sex, isn't it right, ladies? Isn't it right, guys? You know, you guys, you think that you, I hear men say, <coughs> I hear men say a lot, I'm going to get her to have an orgasm. I'm going to make her have an orgasm. Now, yes, you can make somebody have an orgasm because there is physical stuff happening that, you know, if you do certain things and if the body is turned on to a certain level, you can kind of rub one out. But, you can never really truly get somebody to access that deeper level of orgasmic energy unless they're open to accessing it, which means they have to surrender and soften into it. They have to step into the flow. They have to let it down, let their guard down and actually receive that orgasm. Well, just like we have to receive money, we have to receive love, we have to receive well-being, health, we have to receive connection, we have to receive orgasm. But it is not that we are necessarily receiving it from somebody else. We are receiving it from source. We are receiving it from self, the most important person in the room. And that is the most important person in the room. You're the most important person in your room. I'm the most important person in my room. No matter what, we are the most important person in the room. Whoever you are, you're it. And that means that you have to be willing to soften into self so that you can open up and receive the money, receive the orgasm, receive the connection, receive the well-being. But that means to really get into alignment with self. And notice, the reason why I just said, I'm done, is because I realized that I was forcing it. I went, oh my gosh, you're trying to force this girl. Like You are so stuck. And listen to the negative thoughts that are bouncing around in your head now. Because I did. And all admittance, I laid there with a bunch of negative thinking going on towards the end of it. I was just like, you know, blah, blah, blah. All these old patterns, all these old thoughts that I used to have back in my 20s when I was having bad sex, those thoughts started popping up for me. 
just moments ago. Like, I was laying here, and it's, like, all coming back. It was like this, somebody just dumped this trash day for me. He's going to collect the trash, and then he'll be gone. Um, yeah, hold on, because it's going to be loud. Okay, he's next door. Um, but no, it was kind of like somebody had come and dug up this old trash can of 20 some odd years ago and decided to dump it into my psyche this morning because I was dealing with all these trash can thoughts of all my crap. And that is what prevented the flow of energy. That's what prevented the flow of being able to surrender, prevented the flow of being able to just soften in and, oh, the word that we all want to hear, receive. You thought I was going to say something else probably. But no, it's receive. It is receive. And that's what we're trying to do, right? We all want to receive something. We want to receive more money. We want to receive more love. We want to receive more orgasm. We want to receive this stuff. But it's up to us to soften into it. Because if we don't soften into it, the trash can comes and it dumps in there. And it's like, you, where is your trash can at? Because I know some people start the whole process, no matter what it is that you're trying to access or receive, you start the process in the trash can a lot of the times. You know, it's like, and what is that? You know, in Art Williams' terms, that's stinking thinking, man. You know, like, if you are doing stinking thinking, then how far are you really going to get? Like, stinking thinking is just going to keep you in the trash can. That's what's going to go on. It's going to keep you there. So, I encourage you today, and my message to you today from this um, TMI share which I'm just not going to worry about orgasm for the rest of the day. I'll find my orgasm someplace else, like sweating it out in, in the lodge or, or writing a good article or having a glass of wine later or something. Just enjoying the sunshine, taking a walk, listening to the birds chirp. Maybe just snuggling later and just feeling into that because we have to learn how to soften. But I encourage you today to look for the spaces that you need to soften. Look for the spaces that you're trying to force things. Where are you chasing something and noticing that it's running away from you consistently? And then making you wonder, like, what am I doing wrong? What's going on here? Why is this running from me? It's I, I'm working so hard at achieving this. I've, you know, I've dotted all the I's, I've crossed all the T's, I've done all the right things. Like I really applied myself here and here and here and I'm working harder than what I ever have before. Like I'm fully in the game on this and this can be anywhere, right? I'm fully in the game on this, but it's running away from me. Well, if it's running away from you, it means that you're chasing it. And much like anything else, when we, when, if it just imagine, if you're getting chased by a wild animal, are you going to stop and be like, oh, hey, come eat me? No. If a tiger is on your butt, you're not going to just stop and turn around and go, I guess I'll just surrender to this. No, you're not. You're going to run like heck, right? You're going to run like heck from that tiger. You're going to do whatever it takes to try to get away from it. And that is what your dreams, your goals, your money, your orgasm is doing when you're chasing it because you just became the predator okay and if you were becoming the predator to your sex to your money to your dreams and your goals well you know it's kind of like that's just what's going to happen there but we don't look at it like that do you do we there's even there's even all this talk about like you got to chase your dreams you got to chase your dreams and i'm over here preaching the opposite yep don't chase your fucking dreams. Don't chase them. Open up and receive them. Get soft. Just open and receive. Stop chasing it because you become the predator. You don't want to be the predator to those things. You want those things to come to you. Remember that this is an attraction world that we live in. It is an attraction-based universe. Hence the law of attraction. You know what? It is not us being attract, we get attracted to something, which means that we have a desire planted. We have interest in it. That's like our soul is um, 10 steps ahead of us and is waving a white flag and says, hey, I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. So that causes a desire for us to go that way. Well, 
in our path of going that way, we are also calling things towards us to help us go that way towards our dream. But you need to call it towards you. You need to attract those signs, those next steps, those people, those directional signs to you. And if you're chasing, you don't see any signs. You're not going to meet any people because you know what? You're not slowing the fuck down enough to actually get the messages, to get the signs, to have the GPS coordinates speak to you because you can't hear it because you're chasing. Okay, so just stop the chase. Look at your life today. Analyze what am I chasing? Why am I chasing it? How am I, where am I the predator in my life? Where going towards the things that I really want? I mean, really truly ask yourself that. Like, where am I the predator at and chasing something? and it is resisting me. How can I soften around this? How can I open and receive around this? What are some of the steps that I can do to act as though it is already in my life instead of always seeing that it's not here? Because when you're focused on it not being here, guess what? What you focus on grows, what you focus on expands, and if you're focused on the not having, then you're not gonna have it. Okay guys, so, I'm really freaking disappointed in you people. I really am. I'm really, really disappointed. But that's another, that's a whole other topic. But I am. I'm really upset with with a whole bunch of people because I had a bunch of people message me yesterday from um, morning of Mother's Day through midnight last night. I put all my stuff 50% off. And then I had a whole bunch of people message me that I know. And yep, this is where I come out after you guys. You know, you love me when I do this. But I had some of my clients, I had just friends, I had people that I've, you know, been to different events with, old clients, all this kind of stuff, message me and say, oh, that's great, that's great, that's wonderful, oh, I'm going to go sign up for that, just kind of like my free consults, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get around to doing it, I'm going to get around to doing it. Well, guess what, the 22nd is next week, it is a week away, and if you don't have your appointment booked with me, that little mini application that I created that made it really freaking easy on you because it's like five things I asked for. One of them is your name. Um, yeah, if you don't do that and you're not in booked on that by the 22nd, then my prices go back up on the morning of the 23rd to $200 a consult. And I know that a lot of people are going to be going, well, I wish I had done that. No, I can't afford you. You know what? I gave you 30 fucking days to do the consult for free. So get your butt in there. Do the consult for free and get that taken care of. You already missed out on the 50% off of all my home study programs. People are like, what's a home study program? That's an online course. You know those programs that you, you see me promoting and doing in the groups that I do on here? And you're like, oh, what about this? What about that? Yeah, I don't do those again. You see, those are one-time things typically. I do them one time, get them recorded, put together a home study course, and then they're done. It's, it's created, and then people from all over the world come and purchase that online, and they go to their dashboard, and it's like they have their online study right there so that they, because they can't afford online one-on-one -on -one coaching, maybe they're in another country and it's not feasible because they're in another country for whatever reason, whatever the reason is, they still have access to these courses just like you do. That's what a home study course is, just like oh, it says, home study course. So... If you think that, oh, she's going to do this course again, because I got this a couple times, let me know when you do that course again. I'm not doing it again. I'm not, okay? It's been created. It's on my website. It's under programs. It's full price again today. And it's not going to be 50% off anytime soon. That was just me in spur of the moment, woke up Mother's Day morning going, this is what I'm going to do, and did it, and offered that out. And the people who grabbed that, well, they're the lucky ducks that got it. And for the rest, tough, tough, tough gumdrops, as I tell my kids. Tough gumdrops. You're just not going to get it. So for that kind of stuff, I just want you to know that I wanted to solve like some of those questions that have been coming in. Hopefully you watch this Conscious Coffee. If you ask me, when are you going to do that again? Not going to happen. If it is a local workshop, people, if it is a local workshop, which we normally do like one a month local workshop, those local workshops, most of them are not recorded. Most of them are you have to get in because they are interactive, they're experiential, there's different things going on. We can't record that stuff. 
It's just not feasible. So if you're local and you wanna do that, then access those groups when they are running because guess what? It's going to be at least another year before that runs. We don't do those the same workshop every single month or the same workshop every single quarter. It is a consistent cycle of different workshops moving through. And I, a lot of people keep asking me, well, let me know when you're gonna do the next one. Next year around the same time. There you go, that's your answer. Next year around the same time for the local groups. If it is an online course, it is one and done, okay? And I'm still accessible to answer questions and everything. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. If you get into that group and you're like, you got some something going on, that's not my personality. You can always Facebook me and say, hey, Kendall, I was working through this and this came up and you know, can you kind of smack me right here or tell me what to do here or something like that. I'm here for you, okay? <clears throat> As far as the consults, guys, if you have wanted to work with me, I need coffee. My voice is cracking. <clears throat> if you've wanted to work with me, and here's the thing, yeah, for the last 10, 12 years, whatever it's been at this point, I've been focused on sex and relationship pretty much 100%. Over the last two years, I've been focused more in on law of attraction, abundance training, mindset training, prosperity training, quality of life training, and mompreneurship, entrepreneurship. The majority of my clients are, I would say about 80% of my clients these days are just doing that. They are working on their vibration level, their frequency to attract what they want into their life. They're focused in on building financial abundance and really building good business practices for today's world and doing a lot more online stuff, which is what I do anymore, a lot more of, you know, like my whole career has kind of just emerged and changed and everything and that's called being in the flow and just going with what what is your soul is calling you towards so if you are an entrepreneur if you are a mompreneur if you are a woman that is thinking about being a mompreneur because it's mother's month in my book right it is women's month if that is fitting to you then I absolutely am working on that kind of stuff with you guys. Prosperity mindset training, okay? Let's go get you the quality of life for you and your babies, your family that you want. Guys, I work with men all the time. And here's the thing. I still do the sex and relationship coaching. That's why I have like this flow of different stuff back there. If you go to the programs, you're going to see sex and you're going to see quality of life training and entrepreneurship. That's what you're going to see. Those are my three focuses, which basically all comes down to lifestyle right it's all about the fuck yes lifestyle which means that we have great sex great relationship great health fantastic abundance we're doing what we love what we're passionate about we're doing our purpose we have awesome connection our relationships with our friends our family with everything is really really groovy that's quality of life. That is that fuck yes life. Living the life, that freedom-based life that you want to live, that you really know that you deserve to live instead of just settling. Instead of just settling, which I see so many people settling. So many people settling. This morning, I got an email from somebody, and I'm sorry if you're watching right now, but I'm not sorry at the same time because I'm going to call you out. I got an email this morning. I sent off my next batch because I've been sending off batches of consults you know, bookings and everything to people. They have an online system where they just go in and they book. And I sent off one, and this morning I woke up to an email saying, never mind, take me off, I'm, I'm not interested. And whoever you are, not mentioning names, I will be emailing you later saying, so what part of your freedom-based fuck yes life are you not interested in anymore? Because, you know, you took that step. You said, hey, I'm interested. I want somebody to help me. I want somebody to guide me. And now you're backing out on yourself. You're backing out on yourself. And you know what? That's what you're doing, too, if you are not taking the steps that you need. And that doesn't necessarily mean working with me. But if you're not taking the steps that you need to do whatever the thing is that you know that you need to be doing and you're not doing it, then you're backing out on yourself. You totally are backing on yourself. So take that action step, whatever that might be. If that is to do a course, if that is to go and join the gym, if that is to set time aside for yourself, if that is to do coaching with somebody, if that is to get therapy, you know, it, it's different for every single one of us. It does not matter what that thing is. If you know that you are resisting it, then you don't really have any room to bitch because you're resisting your success. You're resisting your fuck yes life. And the little things 
they matter. They do. They matter. So look at those little things and stop resisting them. Take the plunge. Take the leap because if you don't take the leap, your life's never going to change. Okay? In the comments section, you're going to see the question that I asked you about predator of your own life. You're going to see the... the um, link to the free consults. That means that you need to fill out that application and you need to get booked before the 22nd because on the 23rd, you fill out the application midnight on the 22nd, you're going to pay on the 23rd. Okay. That's just the way it is because I'm not doing consults at midnight on the 22nd. Sorry. It's not going to happen. Probably won't even look at my email, but I do have consults available on the 22nd. So you can get your butt in there and do the appointment. Okay. I do a call, Facebook, video and in person. Okay. So anywhere in the world, this is an anywhere in the world gig too. You do not have to be in the Dallas Fort Worth area to work with me. I have people everywhere. Okay. You do not have to fly on a jet to get to me to do a appointment either. I've had people ask me and I'm like, no, you do not have to fly to me. Like that's what the phone's for. Last time I checked, it works fine. So there you go. There's my rant. There's my bitch session. There's my smack across your head, my intimacy share, my TMI share, my everything. And the realization for you, as it was for me, that you really shouldn't be chasing your orgasm or your abundance. Really, truly look for what you are chasing and notice that you're chasing it. That's why it's running away. So as always, stop existing, start living. I'm off to the sauna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna have a beautiful, beautiful day. Hope you do too. I love you guys. You can follow me at www.kendallwilliams.com. Catch you tomorrow.